Good morning, this is Dr. Kenny Handelman, and as you see from this blog post, I've asked you a question, can you give me a boost? Now we can all use a boost now and again, but this is actually something very specific. What I'm talking about is there's a new website called peoplesmd.com. I'll put the link right on here, hopefully, in the software so you'll see it. And basically what this site is, it's a web 2.0 application. Now, if you read my blog, there are a good number of you who know a fair bit about technology, and then there's also a good number of you who are interested in ADHD and learning strategies and techniques. You can use your computer, but you're not really up to date in Web 2.0. So let me give you a very brief overview and then ask you for a favor. So Web 2.0 basically means a lot more interactivity. This blog has many Web 2.0 features. The fact that over 240 people have shared their personal experiences with the new medicine Vyvanse uh, is very Web 2.0. It's a dialogue. Forums, uh, other blogs, social media sites, things like Facebook, etc. But there's another phenomenon called dig, and that's where people choose news stories and then vote on them. So instead of the, the big news agencies telling us what's important news, this is a way for people to vote on what they think is relevant. Now, there's a very innovative strategy that's coming up in a website called peoplesmd.com, and what they're doing is creating a site like DIG for medicine. What does that mean? That means that people like me can put up a resource guide with links articles and, and, and resources for people that may be very helpful. And then other people can come and they can vote on it and decide if it's relevant. What would then happen? That would mean that you and everybody out there on the web can vote on what the best resources are for ADHD and many other medical conditions. In other words, it's putting the news back in your hands and allowing you to share what's important on the web. Because you know if you type in the word ADHD, on the internet, you will get hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of web pages come back to you. And how do you figure out what's relevant? But if you go to peoplesmd.com, you'll actually see the ones that other people vote for and think are relevant too. Now, this site is in beta. For those of you who aren't so familiar with software, that means that it's new. They're testing it out, they're working out the kinks, and they're really open to feedback. I've had personal communication with one of their VPs giving my feedback and input, and I want to invite you to join People's MD and also give your feedback as well, because I know uh, my blog readers are outstanding, you guys are active, you're, you participate, and you are passionate about helping other people to learn more about ADHD as well. So I'm going to actually try and switch this video to a screen capture, which means I'll actually show you the People's MD. I have to admit, this is challenging my technological skills a little bit. It may take me a lot longer than I intended, but uh, hopefully I'll get that out to you. And uh, basically, here's the request. The way this site works is you go to the site, and you look at the stories that are there, and then you can vote for the resources that you think are helpful. And the way they call voting is boosting. So if you go to a resource uh, and you see it and you think that's a useful one, you can once you sign up and log in, you can then go and click on a little icon there. I think it's sort of like a green plus sign. You click on it and that means you're voting for that resource to tell other people that you think it's a good one. Now, I want to contribute a lot to this site. I want to help people to find great information about ADHD, as you know, hence this blog, hence this video to you sitting in my kitchen on Easter, on uh, Good Friday early in the morning. Um, so basically what I'd ask you to do is go to People's Empty, check it out, sign up, take a look at the resources that I've posted there. If you find any of them helpful, please give them a boost. Vote for them. And while you're there, take a look at all the other resources. And you know what? If you like them, vote for them too boost them as well. And here's the most fantastic part. If you have resources that you like about ADHD or potentially other health conditions, you can create your own guide as well. So it could be Susie's Guide on ADHD Parenting. And you can find resources and links that you think are important and you can let other people know about it and hopefully people will boost your comments and your resources as well. And that way, we can all share what we think is best with other people online and make sure that the best information gets out there to people uh, on the internet. So, I'm going to try and switch the video. Thank you for watching this. I will switch the video to show you, hopefully, the website and give you a very quick tour so you can uh, go ahead and, and take part in this new technology that I hope will change how people find health information online. Thanks a lot. Have a great Easter weekend. Bye-bye. 
Hi, it's Dr. Kenny Handelman here, and here we are at People's MD, and as you can see, it's in beta. Now, when we're on this front page here, what we see are some of the featured personal guides. Uh, so these are some of the personal guides that are here right now. Uh, here are some top People's MD experts. Here I am. Uh, I've got 39 boosts so far. There's Bruce, uh, Bruce Focus, Grace LA, etc. These are other people who have them. As you go down here, you look for this button in every topic or personal guide to vote for the best, and you can log in here. Now, I'm actually going to just go ahead and log in. All right. Now, let's say we want to search for ADHD information. Click on Find a Topic. Okay, here we go. Vivance is the new kid on the block. So this is an article here. You click on this link to go see the article. It comes up in a different window. And this talks a bit about Vyvanse. So Bruce Focus said that he thought this was a good article on Vyvanse, and he describes it here. So if you want to discuss this resource and say it's great then or not or whatever, then, then you do that. And um, basically, let's go back. See, another way to search is clicking by personal guides, and I'd like to show you, so here are some, uh, like alternative treatments for ADHD. So on this one, uh, there's the Fine Gold Diet for ADHD. So if we click on here, I've posted that, although it's considered controversial by many doctors, research shows that almost two-thirds of people try a diet change to help with ADHD. This page is all about the Fine Gold Diet, the most researched diet for ADHD. Now, if we click through there, we'd see the Fine Gold site. Now, if you think this is a good site, you would click here to boost it, or you could add a comment about that, and then you could go through and look at a neurofeedback for ADHD. Now, here's the interesting thing. Let's say you found a good article about alternative treatments for ADHD. You click here, it says add your resource to alternative treatments for ADHD. And what you would do is, is this is the topic of the guide. You would put the link of the article, you'd put a title for it and a comment, and then you click submit and then it's out there for other people to see and hopefully people will read it, find it helpful, and boost it. So here's what I'd like you to do. This is just a quick overview. What I'd like you to do is, actually I guess I better log out. What I'd like you to do is click on Join People's MD. That's right up here in the top corner. Join People's MD. Enter your email address, username, create a username, password, confirm your password. They ask for your date of birth just to calculate your age. They'll never publish it. And then your gender. And then you join People's MD. Then what I'd really love for you to do is to come through, find my personal guides, ADHD medication, alternative treatments for ADHD, coaching for ADHD, ADHD blogs, and great books review them, boost any of the t stories that you think are helpful, add your own, and consider even creating your own guide. This is all about Web 2.0. This is all about people sharing their resources. So here, here's one. Most viewed guys, does my child have Asperger's syndrome? And there are five resources. So this is by David NYC, who's a 47-year-old guy from Manhattan, and a basic guide to Asperger's syndrome. Well, I, I know there are people who come to my blog and they wonder about Asperger's. So let's see, a basic guide to Asperger's. Stephen M. Edelson of the Center for Autism is a short checklist for Asperger's. Okay, well, let's take a look at this, autism.org. Okay, so this is a story. Now, if I read through this and I thought this was actually a really helpful article, um, then I would click here to boost it to give my vote to help to keep it near the top. So if somebody's searching on Asperger's, this would be the first story they would see. Hopefully that's clear to you. Uh, please feel free to comment on my blog about this, and please go ahead and check this out. I think it's really the future of health information. Thanks for, for joining up with me and, uh, and watching this video. Bye-bye.